Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm nautical welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. It's part three, the finale of my one week on board Piano Iona sailing Northern Europe. But you have missed all this. Let's rewind. <laughs> And here's what's coming up today. Coming up on Travel Blog Jamie, I head to Bruges for a soggy canal boat trip, experience an amazing tea room, enjoy some culture, architecture, and lakes, and of course, famous frite mayo. And meanwhile, back on board Iona, a night out with this bunch, dinner in the main dining room, Sky Dome Entertainment and Silent Disco, late night at the 710 Club, disembarkation arrangements, a surprise delivery, my final drink spill, ritualistic farewells, Mr. Googly Eyes retires, disembarkation, seeing Matthew and my fur babies, and my final reflections of the week. Oh, the morning after the night before, eh? Oh, I wish I were still taking it easier. One more breakfast in the Epicurean for me. I'm heading to the Keys tomorrow on my last day. Make sure you check out part two for the secrets of the how to get into the Epicurean for breakfast. Okay, it's not a secret, but most people don't know about it. The tables always set out very nicely. Have as much or as little as you want from here, folks. Not feeling very hungry this morning. I wonder why. Blimmin' late night snacks, eh? Who would have thought it? Well, me. Give me life force, give me life force, Joanna, give me. No, that doesn't work. Alrighty, I'm on excursion. I don't normally do them in Bruges. I've been so many times. This is just for ease and laziness. <laughs> if you saw my uh, vlogs on board Arcadia, you'll know that I did everything independently to and in Bruges. So you can check those out if you want to know how to do it yourself and save a lot of money. This is me being lazy. I'll be absolutely 100% honest. Welcome to Grey Zeebrugge. If you are on select fare, you can take a shuttle bus right from the ship into the town of Blankenburg for free. Uh, if you are like me, cheapskate, it's going to cost you a few pounds each way. If they remember to charge, they don't always. You literally just zap in at the bus. Oh, they mean business on this bus. Look, we've got our audio device, gorgeous yellow headphones, map. Just a 30 minute transfer to Bruges from Zeebrugge and it's peeing down. However, I can sense in the air it's going to get sunny later. I can just tell I'm good at these things. The pick up and drop off point in Bruges is super easy because of this structure. Never going to forget that. Not to mention this bridge. Once you cross it, you are in the inner city of Bruges. Okay, so it's believed that if you hold hands with somebody when crossing this bridge into the inner city, you'll be with them forever and ever and ever and ever, amen, whether you want to or not. This is what the locals fondly refer to as the lake of love. Oh, it's a soggy ass day and a soggy ass lake. Now then, in Bruges, above some people's doors, they actually have sculpted swans. Apparently, if the swans face away from each other is considered a bad house where you'll find a lady of easy virtue. If they are facing one another, it's a good house. I like the sound of the bad houses. Yay, canal boat ride in the rain. My favorite thing. This one is my favorite one on the right deck. So here you are in the Rose Unlimited, there is high. You can go to the top, but you have to do three on that is in Bruges. All the buildings, they still standing and very well. And all the, the original and the Tom de Marie Bergogne and the... There are a number of spots where you can take a canal boat ride in Bruges. And if you're doing this independently, it's super easy. It's 15 euros per adult, nine euros per child. 
Well, the rain is easing off. It'll be sunny before you know it, I tell you. Now, I've broken away from the tour group. Oh, I'm so naughty. Um, our tour guide is fantastic. She is so knowledgeable. It's very slow paced. And for someone like me with a very, very low attention span, <laughs> uh, Matthew will be like, yeah, I know you have. Uh, it's not quite the thing for me. So I've broken away. I know where the meeting point is, I think and the time. It means I've got four hours on my own now, so let's go explore ourselves. In Bruges, baby, in Bruges. Wow, all I can hear are bells and all I can smell is sugar. <laughs> Now then, you can only call a chocolate a Belgian chocolate if it has um, a certain percentage of cacao and also cacao butter, not palm oil. It's a bit like torch coming in here. I have to be honest with you. Oh, it smells amazing. I literally want to melt the whole lot and slather it all over my body. I won't do that, don't worry. Just to prove I do listen, there are no traffic lights in Bruges. Mm-hmm. All this info is for free for you. I have to pay for it. Oh, tea room alert, tea room alert. Holy macaroni. Look at these brioche being prepared. Hey, oh, careful with that pair of buns. Wowzers, look at this tea room. I think this must be my favorite in Bruges, at least out of the ones I've visited. Au Merveilleux is absolutely stunning as far as tea rooms go. I just ordered a brioche to go with my coffee. Can I just show you what I got? Oh my God, how awesome is that? Yeah, it needs slicing like a cake. Okay, this is better than the tour. Sorry. Clippity bloody clop. Alrighty, let's keep walking, exploring, and getting lost. My favorite thing. Oh, I'm not used to so many people waving at me when I'm ashore. Hopefully I didn't blank anybody by accident. Can you blank by accident, by the way? Maison Bonbon for all your meringue delights. Holy hell. Ooh, the old curiosity shop. Maybe I could get some postcards. Oh, tier four patrons, look what I found. The lovely gent who served me these 52 postcards from my uh, tier four and five patrons. He was so lovely and he's the only person on the planet so far who hasn't counted them out and double checked that what I've said is true. How? Awesome, thank you so much. I've just retraced my steps to make sure I know where the meeting point is and I get back here on time. Phew! Here comes the sun. I told you, it's coming. So pretty. Clippity clop, clippity clop. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this is of huge importance, by the way. That is the smallest window in the whole of Bruges. I know my shawarma. Oh, nice yellow pants, by the way.
Now then, you can actually go up the tower for 15 euros. Ticket machine over there. No, I'm not doing it. I don't fancy walking 336 steps right now. I'll do it the next time I'm here, okay? I promise. Oh, if only I liked beer more. This might be for you though. Oh, by the way, if you need a wee wee or a poo poo in Bruges, you're gonna need a one euro coin. Just saying. Literally walk for hours here. I mean, that's actually what I'm doing. Give me a B. R. U. G. Brug. I don't know why I did that. That's so random. Ooh, shivery. Love it. Gorgeous lighting. Oh my goodness, it's the Freak Bar. Yes. Ooh, yummy. I promised winter sunshine and warmth, and I delivered. Alrighty, so there are lots of ways of visiting Bruges from Zeebrugge. I've taken the most expensive route. You could just get a shuttle here as well uh, via p &O. Otherwise, I would just recommend doing a search online. It's going to come up with all sorts of different cheaper shuttles for you. You can take a train as well. You can get a taxi if you really want, if there's a, a number of you sharing. Um, whatever you do though, have fun. And don't forget, you can save a lot of money by doing this independently like I did before, not like I've done today. <laughs> And can I also thank all those of you who've come up to me today ashore. It's so cool meeting so many of you uh, whilst roaming Bruges. It's been fabulous. Thank you and I hope you've all had an awesome day. Oh, number five, I found my group. I'm so sorry I abandoned you, sorry. Oh my God, it's so pretty here. This is a lovely end to the day. I've got to say, beautiful. And nearly back at the bus stop. So 30 minutes later, we're back at Zeebrugge Cruise Terminal. Slightly different arrangement now. We have to go through here, through security, hop on another bus to take us back to the ship. Oof, a busy one. And once you pass through security, put your stuff through uh, an x-ray machine, you then join another line to hop on a bus straight to the ship the pain actually at say brother especially with all the tours arriving back at the same time we're back oh doesn't she look beautiful in the sunshine we're walking we're walking we're walking ah oh, just getting some fresh air what a beautiful evening absolutely incredible considering it's february the adults only beachcomber pool been used really well actually this week and a great water temperature so thank you for that pno and just like that, I'm ready for an evening out. Haven't packed yet, and I know I've got to talk to you about the disembarkation process, don't you worry. We've got plenty of time for that, haven't we? I'm sure we're on here for at least enough. Oh, we're leaving tomorrow. Oh, it's fine, we'll do it later, shall we? Oh, look, cruise ready ho. Oh, what a beautiful evening. Let's get our turn down ready. Comfies. Kettle for a late night drink. Room service menu just in case. I've got a feeling it's gonna be quite a long night tonight. There's lots going on on the ship, looking forward to it. Thankfully, we get an hour back tonight uh, as we head back to the UK. So thank you, GMT. I'm always wondering what people are up to when they got taken it easy signs out when it's about five o'clock. What are they up to, folks? It's my captain crush. Love you, Wesley. Did, yeah. Right, let's do the crow's nest one more time. Oh. Bye, Wesley. I love you so much. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, bless them. I love them. <laughs> right, cheers, folks. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to smash it in a minute. Oh, look, there's not much in there. Where's it gone? Right, we're, this is the first time I've ever done a dual squeeze. Let's go, squeeze. Squeeze. Oh, my God. He's giving me a nice big wedge. Yes. <laughs> that was good. Oh, health, 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 darlings. Look at me go, eh? This is healthy, you know. One of your five, I think. 
It is. Well, look at this. I'm being taken for dinner by these two lovelies. Okay. And you're going to be really pleased. We're going to the main dining room for dinner. And you're like, yes, because you haven't shown us that yet this week. Don't you worry. I've got you covered. This is the Pearl main dining room. There are four in total. And oh my God, I could eat a scabby horse and a drunken donkey. Thank you. Okay, so my table mates probably don't know. I always have a starter and suit. Sorry. Please don't hate me for it. Uh, what do you reckon I'm going to have, folks? And don't forget the shirts recommendations. Alrighty, I'm starting with the chicken satay, which I absolutely love. I've had this many times. Good old traditional P&O tomato soup. I'm sorry, I'll trigger people. Tomatoes. And for my main course, I have the potato and cauliflower curry, which smells delicious. And there's some nice fried onions on top. Yummy. <laughs> Okay, every course delicious tonight. Really enjoyed that. Good speedy service, nice service, nice wine. The company weren't too bad. It was all right. <laughs> you can't take these anywhere. <laughs> it was really nice. Very good. Thank you so much, Pino Iona crew. I will go have my Mr. Dan. Hello. What are we doing now? Silent disco again. Silent, not so silent, silent disco. Well, not so silent number two. I'm gonna bust some moves. Yeah. Hello, lady. Oh, she's very good, isn't she? You see how silent it is? Perfectly silent. Andrew! Right, from the silent disco to the 710 Club, apparently it's 90s night. And with the gorgeous Ludlows. in the week on your wedding song I think that's just perfect ending for me anyway back in the cabin now I think it's half 11 in the evening I haven't packed yet and I haven't spoken to you about the disembarkation process it's not very exciting but it is very important let's pack oh come on you didn't really think I was gonna forget about nighttime nibbles and room service did you no dial 5000 Oh, good evening. Um, I'm just calling from cabin 5424. Would I please be able to order uh, one of your chicken, mushroom and sweet corn pizzas? Sure, sir. Fab. 5424? Correct, yep. Yes, and you have ordered one stone baked tannin, chicken, mushroom and sweet corn pizza. That would be awesome, thank you. The order will take approximately 30 to 40 minutes. Is that no, okay? No problem, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you for calling. Bye-bye, sir. Bye. There you go, all done. Oh, Mr. Googly Eyes, going into retirement after this trip. God bless you. Love you. 
Oh, there's somebody at the door. Mm -mm, there's somebody at the door. Thank you. <laughs> Behold, room service pizza. Oh, yes. Pizza and late night film. Oh, my goodness. What a lush, eh? Hey? Alrighty, disembarkation. Well, it's a staggered process. You'll receive a, a document like this a day or two prior to your disembarkation. And it's gonna tell you the venue you need to head to and the approximate time. That's also when you'll be called to disembark in groups. The other option is called self disembarkation and it doesn't take a genius to work out what that means. No, it means you are gonna self disembark carrying your own luggage and you can do so approximately from 7.30 to 8.15 a.m. Breakfast is available in the Horizon Restaurant, Keys and Pearl and Coral main dining rooms. If you are a sweet guest, well then you can still use the Epicurean. And finally, a reminder, cabins need to be vacated by 8 a.m. Okay, it's time to take it easy. Oh. What is this? <laughs> oh, who's done that? Someone's left spicy Pringles outside my cabin. Oh my goodness, and look what else I've just found. Thank you, Darcy, that is delightful. God bless you. How lovely are you? Whoever left that out there, thank you. That is awesome. Can you please make yourselves known to me as well? You lovely to know me really well, don't you? Mwah. You're amazing. And on that note, it is time for Betty Pools. No pooing in bed though. I will see you tomorrow uh, and talk you through the disembarkation process, probably some ritualistic goodbyes of the beautiful Iona. Um, our final reflections, of course, which are super important. Plus, Maffle is collecting me from the terminal. Yay! And uh, once we get home in Baden I have to show you my little baby girls and boys. Um, I've missed them so much. Bless them. For now, I love you, 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 not you. Good night. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. Oh, it's disembarkation day, and I'm feeling like I need a holiday to get over this one. Oh my gosh, what a week we've had, eh? Ugh. Is there anything as sad as the morning after the night before leftover crust from your pizza? And outside the cabin, our bill. Okay, you always want to know my bar bill. Well, it was £120 after my 10% loyalty discount had been applied. So the drinks package would not have been necessary for me. I think it also helps that um, as a Caribbean loyalty member, you get your half bottle of um, champagne, you get your um, glass of fizz on uh, sail away. And also, of course, I brought my litre of vodka on board as well for consumption in my cabin, of course. The remainder of my bill this week was on the Bremen on your own tour, plus I ate in Sindhu and the Keelan Cow. So my total bill whilst on board this week was £178. And because some of you don't believe me when I tell you this, there it is in print. Alrighty, we are heading to the Keys. I keep saying we, it's just me, isn't it? I am heading to the Keys uh, for a, a cheeky little waffle. Oh, life force. One more waffle. So it's 20 past seven in the morning at the moment, and as you can see, it is getting busy. So I've come for my breakfast prior to having to vacate my cabin at eight. Um, I don't like lugging my luggage up and down stairs and the lifts are quite busy on the last day as well. So got up a little bit earlier, have my breakfast, back to the cabin, off I go. Bob's your uncle, Petunia, your auntie. I just found out that those Pringles left out of my cabin last night are from Mr. Dan Burkett. Thank you so much, Dan, for that. That is awesome. I'll have them later with a cheeky little vodka. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not drinking anymore after this cruise. Ooh. It's time for those ritualistic goodbyes. Bye, cabin. You were beautiful. You were so comfy, little bed. I love you so much. I'll miss you, cruise radio. Miss you, ice bucket. Don't get you at home unless Matthew decides to bring me ice buckets from now on at 5 p.m. every day. 
not likely. Scandinavian style bathroom. Oh, I won't miss the, the size, but that shower's gorgeous. Come on, Mr. Googly Eyes, last time for you, my darling. Bye, cabin 5424. Don't forget, I've already got a tour and review of this cabin up on the interwebery trickery thing. Just search Travel Blog Jamie PR Iona inside cabin. Here we go. Oh, by the way, there's a florist on board. So if you want a bouquet or some roses for your cabin, go for it. You're nice, actually. All right, quite a long line for disembarkation, but it's being managed pretty well, going quite swiftly. Oh, it's telling me to stop. Does that mean I'm not allowed to get off the ship? No, uh, we're going. Well, self-disembarkation is certainly a popular one on this particular cruise. That didn't take more than about 10 minutes though, so very good. So there's a route that you're gonna follow to get through the cruise tunnel and exit. Nothing you need to worry about, my darlings. Just follow the crowd. Hey, smelly old Southampton. Don't get triggered. If you're not doing your self-disembark, you'll then arrive in this, what looks like car park. <laughs> full of luggage now they're all labeled very clearly as per deck so easy to find he says oh i know where i'm going next bali in two weeks time can you imagine it oh and if you need any assistance fear not you know we'll sort that out for you just make sure they're aware of your needs once you pass through the car park of luggage uh, you pass through a small room i suppose it's like a screening room there's not usually anybody in there no officers i suppose if they wanted to check your luggage that's where they would do that uh, i've never experienced that yet and then you're at the exit so that whole process took about 15 minutes just waiting for Mafu, who's collecting me soon yay uh, about a 30 minute uh, drive back up to Amazing Stoke and then I get to see my fur babies. Yay! I'm going to show you. And it's time for those all important reflections. Well, P&O Iona, this is the fourth time we've been on board. And can I just say, if there's something you didn't see in this vlog series, I don't know, like Brodie's, the casino or the theatre, I didn't get to any of them. Oh, I didn't eat at the glass house either. Fear not, because actually I've got previous vlogs where I visited all of these venues. The truth is, it's really hard to actually frequent every single venue on board in a one week window, especially when you've got three ports as well, one being an overnighter. There's so much on board. It's really difficult to do everything, but that's what's great about Piano Iona. You have so much variety. You know, the hardest thing will be deciding what you're gonna do. In the biggest surprise of the century, I actually really liked my inside cabin. Ha ah, I know, right? The configuration just worked perfectly for me. Uh, it felt more spacious as a result, uh, especially when I compared it to a previous inside cabin I had on Iona. And also the location, one deck below all those restaurants, bars, lounges, the Grand Atrium, very quiet as well. So that was a win for me. And a big shout out to the crew who of course are very hard working as always. What I will say is the service level on this particular cruise I felt was very consistent. Um, the wait times for drinks, for restaurants, etc. Uh, for my experience this week was actually pretty good. Uh, you know, on previous cruises, I'm, I've had to wait a considerable amount of time on and off for, for a drink. That wasn't the case this week. I don't think I waited more than 10, 15 minutes max. So much better. If you've watched all three parts, you'll know that I've frequented most of the uh, dining venues on board and pretty much every meal was very good. Um, I felt that the beach house on this occasion was just lacking in quality at times. And I have heard some comments online about the olive grove um, and how it seemed very understaffed and the wait times were longer for meals. I didn't experience that in the Olive Grove. I went on night three um, and it was very speedy service. But it's worth pointing out that that's what my fellow passengers have said. Don't overlook a Northern European itinerary. I know it's February. It might put some people off in terms of the weather. What's the sea state gonna be like? Um, is this a, a dull itinerary? Well, it's not at all. Uh, most people I've, I've spoken with this week who'd never been to Rotterdam before absolutely loved it and said, my God, there is so much to do. And I concur, fabulous city. And having that overnighter makes such a difference to the flow of passengers, 
didn't feel rushed to me, didn't feel like I had to get up early, have my breakfast, get off the ship, anything like that. I thought it was fab. Drinks package or not? Well, it certainly worked for some of my fellow passengers and friends on board, and that makes me very happy. Indeed, there have been some excellent value deals uh, for drinks packages, you know, like 20% off. Uh, on top of that, your loyalty discount if you're a member of the Peninsula Club. So I think it can work out good value. Uh, depending on how much you drink. Me, I know it looks like I drink a lot because you've watched my whole week in a couple of hours, uh, but actually, as you saw by my bill this morning, a drinks package would not have been worth it for me, but that's just me. You drink what you want, I won't judge you. Judgy finger, judgy eye. I won't. And finally, a big shout out to Captain Wesley Dunlop. Passengers love him. They love his announcements. He's so quirky and funny. Uh, you feel safe in his hands as well. That sounds dodged, doesn't it? Sorry to his wife. <laughs> I felt very safe in your husband's hands on this cruise. Sorry, Fiona. Um, and can I just wish him a very well-deserved rest? I think this was his last cruise for however many months. You deserve it. We love you. I love you. You know I fanboy all over you. Sorry. <laughs> Right outside the terminal, you've got coaches here if you're traveling far and wide, wide and far. And just outside the entrance slash exit, you've got taxi rank, oh, coffee store. And if you have parked here for the week, well, just opposite the terminal, you've got the huge car park. And if you're walking into town, head for the brown building. Look who's here. It's Matthew. Are you not gonna put this in the boot for me? Are you not gonna do this? Have I got to put it in boot myself? Yeah. yeah, okay. Bye everybody. Bye. I'm home, hello. Oh, look. Oh, my little darling. Hello, hello, I see you. Who's this big lump here? Oh, you're the size of a rabbit. You really are. Oh, we love each other so much. <laughs> Don't we? Yes. Oh, baby. Oh, you're the size of a small rabbit. Look at you, and look at those big balls. <laughs> oh, we've missed each other. Oh. Come on, say hello to everyone. Yes. Come on, you say hello to everyone. Kiss. I love them so much. Oh, I love them so much. You have no idea. Or maybe you do. <laughs> Please, can you show your love and appreciation for Mr. Googly Eyes, who is officially retiring from service. We love you, Mr. Googly Eyes. You've been around the world with us. I might even raffle you off on Instagram. <laughs> love you. Mwah. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this series. Thank you also for helping me reach 24,000 subscribers. Today's shout outs go to my patrons and you can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins, and of course, X, Threads, Instagram, and YouTube.